ಓಂ ಜ್ಞಾನತಿರಾಂಧಸ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನಶಲಾಕೆಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರುನ್ಮೀಲಿತ ಯೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನ್ನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವೇ ಗೌರವಾಣೀ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದೀ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶತಾರಿಣೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತೀಂ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೇತ್ In this session, we'll be discussing from the 14th verse of the 6th chapter of the 1st canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Parishranta Indriya Atma Aham Trit Parito Bubukshitaha Snatva Pitva Hrade Nadya Upas Prushto Gatashramaha The meaning of this verse is, thus traveling, I felt tired both bodily and mentally and I was both thirsty and hungry. So I took a bath in a river, lake and also drank water. By contacting water, I got relief from my exhaustion. So Narav Muni is describing his experiences while traveling to that place. holy place on the way he came across so many different kinds of prosperous uh, towns uh, gold mines beautiful uh, lakes filled with lotus flowers and singing birds but he was not attracted by any of those his mind was fixed on reaching that sacred spot where he could sit and do meditation so what about the demands of the body while traveling so shrila prabhupada says a traveling mendicant can meet the needs of body namely thirst and hunger by the gifts of nature without being a beggar at the doors of the householders by krishna's arrangement there is sufficient uh, food and uh, water and available for any person who just wants to dedicate himself for spiritual life without any need for begging at the door of a householder so shrila prabhupad further says <clears throat> the mendicant therefore does not go to the house of a householder to beg but to enlighten him spiritually uh, there is no need for begging but then on the plea of begging sometimes a transcendentalist or a spiritualist may go and approach a householder simply to take the opportunity to enlighten the householder spiritually that is a real purpose because people uh, in especially in household life they become busy with uh, their work family maintenance providing for the needs of the family members etc etc and so many responsibilities as regards the maintenance of the family so they get more or less lost in such uh, family affairs so to awaken them to spiritual reality is the duty of a traveling uh, transcendentalist parivrajaka acharya now shri la prabhupada especially mentions elsewhere about the himalaya mountains he says the himalaya mountains are famous for all richness 
what are the riches in the Himalaya mountains? There are innumerable caves to live in. Numberless trees of good fruits to eat. Good springs to drink water from. And profuse drugs and minerals to cure diseases. Any man who is not materially prosperous can take shelter of these great mountains and he will be provided with everything required. Both the materialist and the spiritualist can take advantage of the great shelter of the Himalayas. So, Naramuni is heading to the Himalayas only. And uh, in that place, everything is provided for by the superior arrangement of the Supreme Lord. Any of you have been to Himalayas, you should, uh, uh, generally people don't go visit Himalayas like away from the crowded places. If you go to a place which is not so much crowded, then you will find so many nice fruit trees, uh, plenty, plenty of fruits and uh, there are plenty of uh, flowers available, caves where one can stay, numberless caves, so many caves are there. And, uh, the river flows with crystal clear water. There are springs, even hot water springs, so that one can take bath when it is very cold in the hot water of the hot water spring. And there are uh, uh, so many herbs to cure diseases in case somebody becomes uh, diseased, then there are so many herbs to cure the diseases. So, everything is provided for both materially and spiritually. And they can sit in a secluded place and nicely do meditation without being disturbed or bothered by anyone else. So, the 15th verse, Narad Muni further describes his uh, travel. Tasmin nirmanuje aranye pippalopastha ashritaha atmana atmanam atmastham yathashutam achintayam The meaning of this verse is after that under the shadow of a banyan tree in an uninhabited forest I began to meditate upon the super soul situated within using my intelligence as I had learned from liberated souls. So, Narad Muni has reached a proper spot. Uninhabited forest. It has to be a secluded place for doing meditation without being disturbed by anyone else. And there, under the shadow of a banyan tree, Banyan tree gives very nice uh, shade. So, one can be sitting underneath a banyan tree. Uh, then, firmly seated, he began to meditate upon the super soul within. There is a system of meditation. And uh, to search out the super soul, one has to use one's intelligence. Applying the intelligence to search out the super soul by the method that has been taught by liberated souls. Whatever he had learnt from the liberated souls, exactly that he applied. So, Srila Prabhupada says in the purport, one should not meditate according to one's personal whims. Meditation is not like whatever I like to do, I will do. No, that is not uh, proper. Such meditation which one does whimsically will not 
give any tangible result in terms of self-realization. So Srila Prabhupada further says, one should know perfectly well from the authoritative sources of scriptures through the transparent medium of a bona fide spiritual master and by proper use of one's trained intelligence for meditating upon the super soul dwelling within every living being. So first of all, one should know that super soul is seated in my heart. And uh, this description is available in the authoritative scriptures. But such scriptural knowledge is learnt from a bona fide spiritual master. And the spiritual master trains one's intelligence how to search out the super soul within the heart <coughs> and fix one's mind on the form of the super soul in the heart to meditate and achieve the perfection of meditation called Samadhi. So further Srila Prabhupada says, this consciousness is firmly developed by a devotee who has rendered loving service unto the Lord by carrying out the orders of the spiritual master. So what is the training that the spiritual master gives? He trains the devotee how to render loving service to the Supreme Lord Krishna. This is the training. And this training results in the consciousness being properly fixed in devotional service to the Supreme Lord. That is, that is very, very important. It's a standard one has to establish in order to be properly situated for doing meditation. Now it is described here, as far as Narada is concerned, even when he was a small boy, five-year-old boy, he contacted bona fide spiritual masters. He served them sincerely and he got enlightenment rightly. They blessed him with the transcendental knowledge. And Narada was enlightened because he had rendered nice service to them. So they gave the blessing by which he could understand that he has to meditate on the super soul in the heart and he has to follow the right process for that. He had been trained so he could uh, do it properly. Thus he began to meditate. He began his meditation without uh, wasting any time for doing anything else. So this is uh, very, very important that when we take to spiritual life, if at all we are serious about self-realization, then we execute the instructions of the spiritual master very rigidly and with complete attention try to fix our entire mind or consciousness on the process, perfectly following whatever has been taught by the spiritual master without any concoction, without any speculation, without any doubts. The spiritual master gives clear instructions. That is a bona fide spiritual master. He himself has heard, he himself is enlightened. He himself has realized. So he can give perfect directions without any ambiguity to the disciple. And disciple also hears very attentively, very nicely. Tasmad ekena manasa 
with one point and attention one should hear from the spiritual master and fix up one's mind with determination to follow and very quickly achieve the perfection. So I'll stop here. Thank you very much.